welcome back dear students in our previous session we dealt all over us for more a reading comprehension passage from reading a part of a unit 2 from 8th class english reader the rest of the reading transaction will go on in this session as you know the live board has taken a crucial decision what the decision is every child of the children's home or run by the parish will be served three meals of thin gruel a day apart from two onions per week the officials of the live board are intended to make the children starve with this decision now the rest of the story is as follows for the first six months after oliver twist was moved in the system was in full operation so the system was operational in the first six months after oliver moved in as a result during this period the number of workhouse inmates got smaller and the inmates themselves shrank in size and became thinner as they were served very thin meal of gruel per day gradually the children starved and grew thinner in size the room in which the boys were fed was a large stone hall with a bigger copper bowl at one end out of which the master dressed in an apron for the purpose and assisted by one or two women ladled the gruel at meal time of this festive composition each boy had one basin full and no more except on occasions of great public rejoicing when he had two ounces and a quarter of bread besides as such except in festive season so every day the children were supplied with a very thin meal of gruel they were served basin full and no more repetition the basins never once in washing the boys polished them with their spoons till they shone again when they had performed this operation they would sit staring at the copper bowl with such eager eyes as if they could have devoured the big bowl itself and everything in it the basins would never need washing because the children would eat completely whatever was there in the basins as such the basins would never need washing at the same time they suck their fingers most carefully to catch up any stray splashes of a gruel that might have stuck there on boys have generally excellent appetite oliver twist and his companions suffered the tortures of a slow starvation for 3 months at last they got so voracious and wild with hunger that one boy who was tall for his age and hadn't been used to that sort of thing hinted darkly to his companions that unless he had another basin of gruel per day he was afraid he might some night happen to eat the boy who slept next to him who happened to be a weakly youth of tender age as they were bearing the tortures of a slow starvation the boys were always in a deep and intense hunger as a result whenever they ate as if it appeared they would even eat the basin they also sucked their fingers deeply while they were eating well there was a tall boy in the group and this boy was more hunger than any was in the group at this dire state of slow starvation this boy would need more and this boy would always warn his companions that one day or the other would eat the boy sleeping next to him on one night he had a wild hungry eye and they believed him a council was held between whom a council was held among the children lots were cast to ask to who should walk up to master after supper that evening and ask for more and it fell to oliver twist there was a consolidated opinion among the group one boy would ask the master to ask for more on that particular night during the supper and sadly this responsibility was put upon oliver what happens later let us go through it the evening arrived the boys took their places the master in his cook's uniform stationed himself at the copper his assistants arranged themselves behind him the gruel was so much as usually the gruel was being served by the master the gruel disappeared as usual the boys whispered at each other and winked at oliver while his next neighbors nudged him chain as he was he was desperate with hunger and reckless with misery he rose from the table and advancing to the master 
basin and a spoon in hand said somewhat alarmed at his own courage as the groom disappeared all the boys gestured among themselves and looked at the oliver and some of the boys looked at the oliver to do his job then then oliver got the courage what did he do then let's see it. please sir i want some more please sir i want some more he asked oh my god it would never happen in the history of the children's home no boy would dare to ask his master to ask some more and this time this particular day oliver did it then what would be the reaction of the master the master was a fat healthy man but he turned very pale hearing what oliver said the master turned pale he gazed in stupefied astonishment on the small rebel for some seconds and they clung for support to the copper the students were paralyzed with wonder the boys with fear everyone was dumbstruck especially the master in a deep fear he couldn't believe in his ears so what he was hearing there he had to take the support of copper his next on the other hand all other assistants of this master were speechless what said the master at length in a faint voice at length means taking a few seconds then he spoke out what did he speak what he questioned please sir replied oliver i want some more oliver was very confident of very much daring and dashing nature at this particular jinxer and he courageously repeated his words i want some more the master aimed a blow at oliver's head with a ladle and sheet allowed for the beating straight away the master wanted to give a big blow to oliver he shouted at beating then what happened the boy was sitting in solemn meeting then mr bumble rushed into the room in great excitement and addressing the gentleman in the high chair said mr limkins i beg your pardon sir oliver twist has asked for more so the person who was sitting is named mr limkins then mr bumble complained to mr limkins that oliver asked some more there was a general shout horror was depicted on every countenance countenances face or facial expressions there was a horror in every countenance there for more said mr limkins compose yourself bumbo and answer me distinctly do i understand that he asked for more after he had eaten the supper allotted by the boy mr bumbo are you sure what you are complaining has oliver asked more he did sir replied bumbul that boy will be hung said the gentleman in white waist coat i know that boy will be hung nobody contradicted the prophetic gentleman's opinion so nobody in the board contradicted his opinion what was his opinion that boy would be hung an excited discussion took place oliver was ordered into instant confinement and a bill was next morning pasted on the outside of the gate offering a reward of 5 pounds to anybody who would take a oliver twist off the hands of the parish in other words 5 pounds and oliver twist were offered to any man or woman who wanted an appreciate to any trade business or ceiling the live board has decided to throw oliver away from parish as a result they made a wonderful offer to every man and woman what's that 5 pounds and oliver twist would be rewarded to any man or woman who deserve to own them in that way the live boards official so resolved to desert oliver from the children's home so dear students that's all about the story of oliver twist oliver asks for more and now Let's go through some comprehension questions and the answers. First question: Why did Oliver and his companions become wild with hunger? Why did Oliver and his companions become wild with hunger? Answer: 
Oliver and his companions suffered slow starvation for three months. As such, they became wild with hunger. Second one, who held the council? The children held the council. Who held the council? The children held the council. Third one, please sir, I want some more. Please sir, I want some more. Who said these words to whom? Oliver said these words to his master. Oliver said these words to his master. And some more questions. What was the reward offered by the live board to the people? Five pounds and Oliver Twist were offered to the people by the live board. What's the name of the gentleman on the high chair? Mr. Limkins is the name of the gentleman on the high chair. So this is all about Oliver asks for Bob. And dear students, in my next session, I will be coming up with yet another interesting topic. Until then, bye. Thanks for watching.